Good Saturday afternoon from the beautiful East Etiwa. I am Pat, real man of genius, and I am doing an intro after I shot the video. I didn't intend for the video to turn out actually as good as I thought it would. Um, the reason being is most of the 500 Magnum videos that I see, people are only standing up on top of a water jug or a, a bucket or a watermelon and are shooting it from no more than 7 to, or 20 yards, you know. So today, what I did was decided that I was going to start stretching this thing out because it would be interesting to me. I did 100 yards today. Start pushing this thing out to 150 and 200. Now, I think that would be really cool. But uh, today was just 100 yards. By the time I actually started getting some good footage and got this thing zeroed, I only had nine rounds left. Now, I've got tons more ammunition back at the house, but it's way back there. The ground is too soft for me to drive my truck in here. The truck's just sinking in this mud. We've had nothing but solid rain. So what I've been doing, it is hard to see here. You see that hand truck, that two-wheel dolly? I strapped my table to it, I put that green box on it, loaded everything up, with tripods, cameras and everything in that green box, and I hoofed it. <laughs> Which is no real big deal. I need to exercise. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you the gun, and then the video that I've already shot, I will place in after this. As I said previously, I have already shot my shooting video so now i'm going backwards and telling you what i shot it was the black butterfly 500 smith and wesson 350 grain xtp this was their medium velocity self-defense and yes i broke the latch while i was trying to get it in here but that's to happen this was 20 rounds of wonderful fun and nine of them i was landing on steel at 100 yards where is that little dude? Right there. I actually measured it out with a tape, and it was 101. But anyway, it was just a yard beyond 100. Now, this is the pistol. This is a mighty fine firearm. I have to hold it at arm's length. This is the 10 and a half inch Performance Center from Smith & Wesson. I put the Vortex Spark II Red Dot. And what was actually cool is I swapped this riser off of an AR that I had, an extra upper that I wasn't using for anything, and I put this lower mount on here just to bring it down closer to my bore. So I get my sight picture closer to my bore. Anyway, taking that off of that AR, putting it on here, I was very, very close to begin with. I wasn't far off at all. My zero was just really, I started shooting just a little bit high, I cranked it down an indiscriminate number of clicks and started hitting the steel. All I had to do is adjust my windage just a little bit past that. But let me go ahead and lay this dude back down. This is that really nice case that it comes in. I think this is so cool. You know, you spend the big bucks, you get the performance center, and it comes with a nice case. And there is that bad boy. I have enjoyed shooting this pistol so incredibly much and those are those dud rounds from another manufacturer i absolutely those last five in the video i do not want these to be confused with the quality of black butterfly nick and his brother lenny do a wonderful job at black butterfly of loading good stuff this right here was loaded by another local manufacturer it was purchased from a gun shop or a gun gun show and he even used the wrong primer. He used a large pistol primer instead of a large pri rifle primer. Half of these go bang. Half of them don't go bang. Some of them are hot. Some of them are duds. And uh, <laughs> just an absolute waste of money. Um, get you some quality. But here's the rest that I was shooting off of. Standard old Caldwell. I think it was like 30 bucks or something. It was cheap. And uh, let's get to the video now. Uh, that's what you want to see. You don't want to see me run in my mouth. Well, here goes the first five rounds. I'm just going to go ahead and load up a cylinder full of the 350 grain Horner DX TP. I 
I literally just bought that camera. It's sitting down there in harm's way. But let's see how this goes. I'm tickled with that. I can't wait to see the footage. I'm going to go ahead and do five more. I may even try to do one single action. Oh! No, I guess I'll do four more. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing. Get to shooting. And you start running out. I don't even have a full cylinder left. So here's to the next four. Boy, it's hitting that plate hard. One more. <laughs> oh, that tickles me to death. I think I'm going to start pushing this thing farther. A hundred yards is no problem. And I did forget to do my double action one. That's what I said that I was going to do. Well, here I've got some that are duds. Hang tight. Now I've got 29 rounds of these that are not black butterfly. Are not. But you can see they went by the old reloading data and they put large pistol primers in it instead of large rifle that was a local reloader i'm not going to call my range day short some of these might go click some of them might go bang let's see if these hold the same zero they're the same 350 grain xtp as well but these are going to be an eerie feeling when they don't go pop Let's see if I can rock that steel with these. Half of these will go bang, half of them won't. There's a cylinder full of junk. Let's see if I can hit the steel from here. If I don't, I'll probably just call it quits and end it. went high that one went high let me try to compensate did it so that one was reduced power I'm just gonna quit these all together Yeah, now see, that's the difference in reputable and not reputable. 
I'd absolutely prefer to shoot black butterfly than anything else. Like I said, these right here, uh, they were all over the place. Some of them were high, and then the last one was just a <laughs> It was an absolute reduced power, so we're going to quit that right now. Smith & Wesson 500 can be up to 60,000 PSI, and I really don't need to be messing with that with my hands that close in it. But anyway. All right, we've reached the end of the video. There are the hits that were on the steel. I was surprised to start hitting at 100, so I'll start tightening it up. Start pushing this thing out. We'll do some 150 and 200 yards out of a 500 Magnum. I think that's cool. One thing I do want to show, let me get positioned here, is the curve <laughs> that this steel now has. <laughs> 500 hits with absolute authority, even at 100 yards. But if you like today's video, other than me stumbling around in the mud here, hit the subscribe, hit the notifications, turn them on, show me some love. I'm uh, ready to build a good channel if you guys are ready to watch. But until then, have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time.